Welcome back everybody to more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Gonna practice for the EG Cup final. So I've set up a multiplayer game at uh, regular T's normal cups, Canaloa Beach. Put it on medium power, which I think is what we're gonna get for the um for the final. So this should be a pretty realistic simulation of how it's gonna be. I know some of you have already played the final and got some scores. I'm going to play it Sunday night on a live stream. So I want to get a bit of practice in. I've played a bit of Canaloa Beach, but I can't say I've played it regularly for a while. So I just kind of need to get used to it again. Look at that, it's just such a nasty choke point. You can go to the one word, I suppose, but then you've got to hit it. Well, I got it. <laughs> Let's see how we do. So with the two, so with the clubs, you can't actually get there in two. It's a 20 yard chip. Go to the trusty nine iron. Bit of wind on it. Ah, uh, it did a little bit of front edge, didn't it? I oh, we still got it, though. So you can get an eagle there. Just, yeah, see that little bit of... Just before the fringe. I can't it. Took a little bit of pace off it, but we got the eagle. We won't get any um, previous score markers because we're not in single-player. We're in multiplayer mode. However, comma, that's a good start. I'll take it. Two is a par three. So two is the par three. Straight into the wind. So we're gonna go top spin. Yeah. Right. How much does the wind take off it? Good, good. Oh, not as much as you think, that's not a bad shot. For a so five foot for the birdie. The an annoying bit about the multiplayer mode is it vibrates your controller every time it's your turn. In case you're sharing a controller. It's just off-putting. It's a three under. Hole three. It's a par four. It's another par four. Again, all about how far up you can get this. The issue here is the altitude more than anything else. <coughs> That's gone way left. Way left. Yeah, it's going to be out of bounds. I'm in the water. Well, <coughs> you another ball. Nice. Sway got me. So we've got to be careful. I mean, I didn't even miss the shot there. Yeah, see, that's way left again. <coughs> that's what comes to trying to play backspin. Oh, it's going to go out as well. Oh, I just held. Look at the gauge close Okay, we're gonna have to find. We're gonna have to find a way to play that top spin for sure. Okay, so we're gonna lose a bit out of the out of the impact. Oh, good shot! We gotta get it up there. Oh, and then just chip time. And this is for a bogey. Oh, we missed it. It's a double bogey. We're gonna have to avoid that on the on the day. Back to one under. Mm, this is why we practice. It's a par four. We've got to take that sway out of the equation. That's the only solution there, really. Got to play it backspin somehow. Sorry, topspin even, because backspin's got too much sway on it. Just see how far down the hill we can get this. Give ourselves a nice approach. It'd end up being about a hundred and something. Yeah, 102. Bit of wind, but not much. Yeah, I missed the impact. Gonna be a bit short, I think, yeah. Roll with it. It's a 13 footer. We can hit it hard though. Okay. 
There we go. Back on the um, back on the birdie trail. Gets us to two. Fives another one. We might have to play backspin, but I think actually it's less risky here. We've got more room. Oh, went all the way right. Should still end up somewhere reasonable. Yeah. So 115 left. Oh, nice shot. Oh, that's not bad. It's close enough. Six foot up. There we go. Got it in. To three under. So apart from three, we're doing all right. It's a par three. It's another par three. Again, sort of downhill. So trying to understand how much the wind's gonna. The, sorry, the slope's gonna impact it. All the top spin in the world. You don't want to be too short because you'll end up somewhere you don't want to be. That's okay. Slightly overhit, but that's all right. It's eight and a half. Sloping downhill. Gonna break a bit. We gotta take the pace off it. There you go. Right in the middle. Four under. Seven, I'm pretty sure we just drive it, can't we? Yeah, we just hit this full belt. Oh, I've got a nice bounce. Going to be over 320, I suspect. Yeah, it's got, got a good use of the slope. 327 needs to be 140. Trees are going to get in the way. Going to be a 7 iron in there. Try and curve it round the trees. Oh, nice shot. Get a nice landed on that bit of fairway. That's all right. A bit further away than I would have wanted, but ten foot part. This is a bit, bit more break this time. Works to the left. Oh, that's the first one of those I've missed, but it was always, always on the cards, wasn't it? You can't put them all. So we tend to take a par there. Now wait, with my clubs, I was driving out the front here. I don't think I'm going to have that problem here. I think I can hopefully drive with impunity. Got a bit of top and side spin on it. Try and sort of straighten the ball up a bit. Oh, we might actually get out the front. Yep. Okay. So we can't drive with impunity. We can get it out the front. Although there was a little bit of a tailwind. The heart of the sandwich just makes this a lot more interesting, but it should still be doable. Didn't get the flyer. Bravo. Yeah, it's going to be a bit far. Um, we're back in the sand, and we might not have a shot here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there's no way around this. I'm going to have to take the unplayable. That is a little bit harsh, but better take the unplayable, get a drop, and have a better shot at it. So we can still par this. It's going to need a minor miracle. But we've we've done worse. Get in. Oh, ho, ho. There you go. Paid off taking the unplayable there. But the mistake was the tee shot. Needed to leave that on the, on the short green stuff. So nine, or I call the sailboat hole. So if I don't clip the tree... Actually, I think that's worth it. We may as well just play up here. No point with the power shot, actually. Need to save some power shots. Oh, friendly little kick there. Going to be about 295. That's all right. So 320 to go. 
means I can sort of reach up there. We could go for the driver. Alright, let's go for it. Much harder to hit that shot though with the driver. You don't get all the the sub perfect impact. You just get the perfect impact and that's it. Oh, we got a bit of luck there. Just on the semi rough. So we gotta chip in. A little bit out of the rough. So gonna struggle with control. And we get it close. Oh, it's a bit long. Got to chip back for the for the birdie. Fairway, that's off the fairway. All right, see if we can get a bit of magic again. Go on. The chipping's on point, isn't it? Nice birdie. it. So five under. Um. Yeah, got to take that double bogey out. A couple of pars, but again, they were easy mistakes to correct, I think. Certainly that last par on eight, just don't overhit it. Find a bit of position on that fairway. You should be able to take a birdie. It's a ten on the way back now. We've got to be careful here with how much we cut the corner. Wind should help us a bit. I mean, the super conservative option's here, but it leaves you miles to go. You do want to cut a bit of it. Promise those trees make it tricky. All right. Actually, span that the wrong way. I wasn't thinking, but it's okay. It's on the fairway. It's just the main thing we're trying to go for. Eighty-seven to go. It's a bit uphill. Okay. The issue really is how much do you add on for the for the uphill nature of it. Oh, that's pretty good. Pin shot. If I'd had perfect impact, that'd have dropped. As it is, I'll take my birdie. Nice birdie. So six hundred. We hit the pin. It's a par five. Uh, again, uh, the issue here is you probably haven't got the length to clear that ditch. So the better line's probably here. Which is what I played yesterday. Oh, nice shot. Again, the wind's sort of holding it up. So the question is... Yeah, so unless you've got a tailwind, you can probably just hit it as hard as you want. Stop! No! Oh, I ended up in that bunker. I've got to hit this miles out of the bunker now. Which makes life mighty interesting. Alright, let's just go for it. Oh, caught the front and edge. Oh, see what I mean? Mistakes just Look at the gate. escalate. You make one mistake, it makes it much easier to make the next next mistake. Oh, neat shot! Ah, oh, I missed it again. Don't take your eye off the gate. All right, I'm still in this. Can we get it close? Give us a chance. us a chance of a part. No. However, chip for a part. Oh, that's too short. Get in. Yeah, too short. So we take the bogey, but ah, oh, it's just a disaster of a hole. Absolute disaster of a hole. That's why we practice. It's a par three. So twelve's another par three. Got a super side and top spin on it. Oh, get in! That's how you do it. Oh, good shot. Got the old spiral shot on the go. We needed that. 
Sadly, it doesn't count for my stats because we're in multiplayer. Absolutely needed that, though. It's a powerful. It's a 13. I think the line is to hit the island. The question is with what? I suspect. Backspin 3 iron, I reckon, is the shot. Oh, we got the backspin. Super backspin rather than ultra. I'm kind of wary of landing and then running out. Yeah, just check it. That's what you want. That'll do. That'll do. So that was a three iron. Yeah. Okay. So there's a shot at this. Okay, that's how you play 13 then. Got ourselves a birdie. Good, good. Okay. 14's the arch. Have I got the power to get up there? Yeah, maybe. Actually, probably need to set up further across. Ah, I can't reset my player in this mode, can I? E. Okay, we're playing it from here. <laughs> Would have liked to be able to put some spin on that, but I set up too far left. And in this mode, you can't reset your player position. That's pretty much where you want to put it. So 166 to go. This is going to be a towering second shot. 16 yards down. So the question is, what do you take off it? Oh, good shot. Nice shot. That's just coming down from altitude. Boom. I'd leave a massive hole in the green, to be fair. Great play. Oh, that birdie. So we've got a birdie putt. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Right in the middle. It's a nine. It's a par three into the wind. That pin's really tight on the front as well. Really tight. Again, slightly downhill. Not as downhill as that second shot on 60, um, 14. Bit of spin to give us a better place to land it. Yeah, bit short. Got a putt, though. Got it. Nice. I get us to 10. It's a 16. I might want to play the corner cut here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do. Give myself a better second shot in. That looks like it's going to be okay. Could do doing a bit further to the right and get me closer to the hole. But I've got a nice straight line in. Missed the top spin. Great shot. I think the wind's just going to turn it over a top. Yeah. That's all right. Five foot. Five foot for the birdie. In she pops. That's 11. It's 17 par five. A bit too much off this one yesterday. But then again, I had a fair bit of wind. All right, let's have a go at it. Didn't get as much um, side spin on it. That's a better shot than yesterday. At least it's on the short stuff. So 2.50 to go. Again, just gotta black this. 
Suzuki won't like it. He's quiet. If we get past the out of bounds, then we just drop it. Oh, where's that gone? Okay, it's alright. Give me a chip. It's a nine iron. It's a little bit downhill. So it'll tend to race away. I think it's just a bit left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see how much further it went. Got a birdie putt back though, because that was an eagle chip. In she goes. That's 12. But there's an eagle to be had there for sure. Last one. It's 18. It's a par four. Stick it down the throat. That's the play. Oh, gonna get sand on it. Oh, gonna bounce. It's a water zone, isn't it? Rather than yeah, so you can play it. Oh, this is tricky. Just gotta hit it. That's all you can do. Okay, so we'll get a chip for the birdie. If you can stick that though, there's an eagle there. If you can find a way to not end up in the water. Go on. Gotcha. It's a decent finish. So not a bad score. Just gotta just gotta get rid of those mistakes. You know, you take eleven and three out. That's fifteen. Actually that's sixteen. Even if you just parred them. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave us a comment. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of your Billy's Golf.